think you've got the next great invention? Then enter a real-life shark tank. Can you spot a dud right away? Three crazy ideas in a million-dollar match. Which one will be the next big thing? Here now, Elizabeth Vargas and Chris Cuomo. Next, five minutes that could make you a millionaire. It's basically, so you're concentrating on this. If the king of infomercials says yay or nay, when we come back. Do you have a million dollar idea? Well, you're about to meet three inventors who think they do. But first, they've got to get their crazy ideas past the gatekeeper, the man with the Midas touch who can turn you into a millionaire if he likes your invention. And that is a big if. Here's Deborah Roberts. They came to Chicago from all over the country. All right, how's everyone doing today? Good. Just to have five minutes with this man. Hi, A.J. Kubani here from Telebrands. A.J. Kubani, infomercial king and product inventor who changed the way we shop. These days, Kubani's on a mission to find the next big thing. And these inventors all think they have it. My invention is called the Mega Tester. This is the closet cubie. We call it the wiper with the built-in spares. My grandchildren absolutely love bag bundle. My attach is a suction cup device. You test bulbs, fuses, switches. Use it on both wheels, easily extendable. And just close it right back up. The reason people love this. It's a rough prototype. How do you know when something's going to be big? What gives you that hunch? If I look at a product and there's something exciting about it the moment I see it, the, the moment I see the demonstration. In Chicago, he's hosting Inventor's Day. 10,000 hopefuls applied, and only 27 made the cut. <laughs> the stakes are high. Each is hoping to dazzle Kubani and potentially launch their own invention with a deal that includes an infomercial and potentially a million-dollar contract. They only get five minutes to make their pitch. 2020 was given an exclusive look at the nerve-wracking process. Heart American Idol, Heart Shark Tank. Hey, we're going to the store you see as seen on TV? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. And all make or break for these folks. Yeah. It's amazing. Like brothers Steve and Rick Delane, who crafted their own amateur infomercial. Searching for the remote just never seems to end. Well, search no more and flew all the way from Long Island, New York. I got a little product that's going to help you from losing your remote control. It's called the zip line. Both electricians. Okay, what do we got, man? What do we got? They believe so much in their zip line, they've already made a prototype. Hi, I'm Steve, inventor of the zip line. The zip line finally answers the question, where's the remote? Put the pad on. And you are in business. Then there's Leonardo Nelson, a Chicago banker. You have money for lunch? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He put everything on the line. His marriage, his future, including his 401k, for this, an all-in-one windshield wiper. This is convenient because you have three windshield wipers in one. What you need is TriTrack. These are so easy, even I can do it. He tried launching it back in the 90s, but it fizzled. Now he's at it again. I was very excited when he called because I've finally been doing it for now uh, 18 years. But will he be outdone by 37-year-old Eric Cordy from Mason, Ohio? He's got a clever gadget that preserves uncorked wine by inflating a balloon inside the bottle. The wine balloon is the only wine preservation device that you can actually see and know that it's working. I think one of the, the first things that makes me like a product is it, if it makes me smile. You know, if it makes me smile, I think it has potential. And is it about the inventor or just the product? It's about everything. It's about the product. It's about the inventor, the personality of the inventor, the enthusiasm of the inventor, and the thought process that went into it. Kubani knows a thing or two about inventions. And you're going to love it. His infomercial empire is fast approaching a billion dollars. Not bad for a guy born in New Jersey to Indian immigrants. 
He had an early eye for new ideas and in 1987 stumbled upon a big one. Introducing Amber Vision, the most amazing breakthrough in vision technology since glasses were invented. View sharpening amber glasses, which hit it big, within three years grossing $150 million. Hundreds and hundreds of inventions later, Kubani's now the guy who can take your idea and spin it into gold. He's the easy. one who discovered the one-second one needle, this loop and thread, the, chef basket, the handy the chef cool basket, dynamo. and his biggest seller to date, his own invention, a foot smoother called the pet egg. Why didn't somebody think of this before? It's great. 40 million sold and counting. So call now. Which brings us back to Chicago. And with the clock ticking, anxious inventors are desperate to get Kubani's attention with handy dandy organizers. We need pockets for everything. Or new ways to exercise. This is uh, the portable unit, so it's basically. To all kinds of other things we seem to be missing from our everyday life. Floppies. From the beginning of time, man has been trying to protect his feet. It is an emergency kit for travelers, so um, I personally think it's extraordinarily useful. Can you spot a dud right away? I mean, do you get a feeling something's not going to work? If I can't understand a product in the first 10 seconds, it's a dud. I think people have got to get it right away. The product itself is old and you don't have any real improvement. I'm not getting overly excited about either one. It's not suitable for our business. They're not going to be appealing enough to get people to pick up the phone and call. It's missing the magic. And out of all of the products that you see every single month, how many would you say really turn out to be something viable? I would say roughly 1%. So the odds aren't great necessarily for all of those folks out there who feel like they've got that one winning product. The odds are not great. We make it look easy, I think, because we've launched so many products, but we test a lot. We look at thousands of products before we end up with the ones that we market. So what about the inventors we met? First, New Yorkers Steve and Rick Delane make their pitch. It's on a retractable line that locks out. You can mount it next to your bed, night table, pretty much anywhere. And uh, with, uh, with over 100 million TVs sold each year, I think there's a, a good market for the product. Very interesting. Yeah. Never seen that before. Yeah. Innovative. Thank All right, you thank you. We'll con we're, we will definitely consider thank it much you know. time. Thank you. Eric Cordy is up next. I'm the inventor of the wine balloon, a wine preservation device. You take the wine balloon, whether you have one glass that you poured out of it or only one glass remaining, insert it down into the wine, squeeze the grape cluster till it inflates and touches the side. As soon as it touches the side, we give it a couple extra squeezes. It's totally sealed. Now you know exactly how much air is in contact with your wine. I think it's great. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I think it's so novel that the novelty alone will drive a lot of people to buy it. And it works. And it works. We have Leonardo and Michael from Chicago. With jitters, high hopes, and everything riding on this, Leonardo Nelson, the man who cashed in his life savings for his three blades in one windshield wiper, finally gets his moment with Kubani. Well, but it's a kind of eco-friendly uh, type of blade. It's very easy to use. When it's time to change, you strip off that, that covering, you expose the next windshield wiper, you put it back in, and you got So you're going to get the same freshness, uh, the same use uh, out of the unused blades as you would. It. Many people have been looking for the next big windshield wiper. But this is interesting. Uh, it's a great category. Uh, the commercial looks good. I think we're interested. Good. Okay. All three have had their few minutes with Kubani. So who will he choose for a possible million dollar jackpot? Stay tuned. Nearly 30 inventors are about to leave Chicago with their hopes dashed. We're going to have to pass. AJ Kubani, the king of inventors, turned them all away except for these three who are still in the running to launch the next hot infomercial product. Leonardo Nelson with his three-in-one windshield blade. You strip off that, that covering, you expose the next windshield wiper, you put it back in. Eric Cordy in his wine balloon. Squeeze the grape cluster till it inflates and touches the side. And the Delane brothers with their TV remote zip line. I've been using this for about two years, and uh, I love it. I've never searched for the remote since I've had this. All made good impressions, but only 
one will have the chance to become an infomercial star and possibly rake in a fortune. So who dazzled Cabani? Was it the Delane brothers? Well, they were very enthusiastic. You know, they really loved the idea. They addressed an everyday problem, which got my interest right away. But when they actually showed me the solution, I didn't like it that much. You've got a remote control with a cord on it now. Of course, you always know where it is. But part of the idea of remote control is complete freedom. Or Leonardo Nelson, who mortgaged his life savings for his three-in-one windshield wiper. What was your gut when you saw this? I liked the, I, I, the solution that it was solving. We could tell from his presentation that he had a lot riding on this. He was very nervous. I contacted the company that test marketed it and got their results, and it was very poor. Why should I jump in and invest more money again? I don't think I could do anything different to get a different result. We found out this gentleman put everything he had into this product, including his 401k. He's a single father. Apparently, he told us his marriage has fallen apart. Does that affect you at all when you know a story like that and that a person has so much writing on it? Well, I am human. You know, these things are going to have some impact on me, but I, I try to cut through that, and I have to just focus on the product because I have to run a business, and I have to come up with, with products that are going to sell. I can't become a charity. So it's a no-go for Leonardo. I'm never going to give up my dream. If I gave up, then my kids will look at me and say, Dad, you know, you told us to dream, and now you've given up on your dream. So I will never do that. I'll keep it going. And so much for the Delane brothers, too. You got to keep pushing, man. This is the land of opportunity, but it's not that easy. So what about Eric Cordy with that wine balloon? What was your gut reaction when you saw this? When a product makes me smile, it's an indication <laughs> For me, that it's going to be a big seller. So when he started to inflate the balloon, you smiled? Yeah, I smiled. I said, that's really cool. The fun aspect can make it very big. It's like that wine balloon is really cool. I got to have one of those. All great news for him. Kubani sees lightning. Well, make that crisp red wine in a bottle. He loved Cordy's idea, but that doesn't always guarantee a deal. Shockingly, Cordy rejected Kubani. Eric chose to take a different route. He decided to market it himself. He felt that this particular type of marketing wasn't right for the product. Hopefully, he'll change his mind and bring it back to us. I know that Telebrands could really launch it to the next level, but it's really only been out for such a short amount of time, and I'd really like to try to take it a little further myself uh, before going with uh, a company like Telebrands. But no worries for the Invention King. He's already found what he thinks will be the next big thing in Washington, D.C. It transforms an ordinary hot dog into a smiling hot dog man. It caught my attention right away, and that's what I look for. Meet the happy hot dog man, invented by a Pittsburgh dad. Okay, so what's the happy hot dog man all about anyway? The plastic food cutter slices a hot dog into, yes, the shape of a man. There are 20 billion hot dogs sold in the USA every year. With that impressive number in mind, Kubani wasted no time in striking a deal to market the happy hot dog man. He pitched it to me. You got me excited, all right? Lights, camera. And action. And within weeks, an infomercial was already being shot. Hi, Anthony Sullivan here for the Happy Hot Dog Man. Just take it out, cook it in hot water with a microwave, and it comes to life right before your eyes. Who could have thought you could do so much with, with, with the Happy Hot Dog Man? Making man out of meat, right? The Hot Dog Man is, well, on a roll, coming to a TV and store shelf near you.